For almost 2,000 years, one simple striking image has been one of the world's most powerful and enduring symbols. A symbol not just of death and persecution, but also of hope, love and salvation. It is the cross of Jesus. This coming Saturday sees the festival of the Holy Cross and on this week's Songs of Praise we're taking a closer look at what the cross means to us today. I'll be meeting people for whom this symbol has a special significance, whether it's making them, wearing one, or providing the strength to forgive. Our hymns take their inspiration from the cross, and Peter Howarth, lead singer of the Hollies, performs his version of a real favourite, the old rugged cross. The mixture of the lyrics and the music uh, combine together to create a really potent, powerful force uh, that connects you with God. September the 14th is Holy Cross Day, a time when churches celebrate and remember the cross as the sign of our salvation. This little-known festival originates in the Holy Land and marks the dedication of the Church of the Holy Sepulchre in Jerusalem, built on the site where many believe that Jesus was crucified. And in anticipation of the day, we've come to Holy Cross Church here in Greenford, just outside London, to sing hymns reflecting on the powerful symbol at the heart of the Christian faith. For many Christians, wearing a cross is an important way of communicating their beliefs to people they meet, and some feel so strongly about it, they've been prepared to go to court to fight for their right to wear a cross at work. Earlier this year, the European Court of Human Rights ruled that Christians could not be prevented from wearing a visible cross, so long as it was safe to do so. These days, it's hard to know where faith ends and fashion begins. One person who's in no doubt about that, though, is Norma Jean Moraine, who creates Christian-inspired jewellery at her workshop here in Birmingham's famous jewellery quarter. Norma has made thousands of crosses over the ten years that she's been in business. <laughs> nice to meet you. Guys. And you. And you're hard at it. Yes, I am. I love um, the cross and I love the message of the cross and we do so many different designs. And what do you think about when you're making cross? Because if you've made thousands, the sort of, I, I'd have thought that the significance of it would, would, is bound to wear away a bit, isn't it? Not at all, not at all. Every cross I make is, uh, for me, it's an act of worship. 
every time I see someone wearing a cross, for me, it reinforces the message of the cross. I think people need to know what it means. Every time we sell a cross, we put a little Bible verse scroll in the box. For example, one of our scrolls has the message, Jesus carried the heavy cross to Calvary and died on it for you and me. Don't wear it lightly. So when they open the Bible verse scroll and they read that, they're going to get the message. And you've cut them, now you're filing the edges. This is a very small, rugged cross pin, and um, today I'm going to make one for you, Bill. Oh, that's very kind of you. Thank you. Normally, you make the cross. Yeah, yeah. Not the crucifix. Oh, we do crucifixes as well. Um, the crucifix is really a snapshot in time. Jesus died on the cross, but some Christians prefer to wear the empty cross because it takes you beyond the actual crucifixion uh, to the resurrection, to the fact that Christ is now seated in heaven, and that's where we're going to be. One is a symbol, and the other is a depiction. Yeah, that's right. The whole business was set up as, a, as, as an act of faith, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. In 2002, I was leading a Bible study at my church. I said, we've all got to take a step of faith today. And then that afternoon, I went to the college where I worked as a, as a part-time lecturer in mm. business. Um, I got talking to another teacher that I didn't know very well. And I said, you know what, I'm not sure I really want to be teaching. Um, all I really want to do is make jewellery and work with my hands. And can you guess what he said? He said, I teach silversmithing. <laughs> and it was just one of those God moments. It was like a light switched on, and I said, I'm coming on your course. <laughs> and that's and what you've done ever since? Yeah, so ten years later, here I am. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's so, fire it up. Yeah, I'm going to point this away. Yeah, that's a good you. idea. <laughs> Is it difficult to make, though? No, it's a very simple design. You know, the truth of the message is that Christ died on the cross to save us from our sins. That is an old <laughs> rugged cross, isn't it? It is, mm. absolutely. Made with love just for you. So, is it ready now? Yeah, yeah. what do you think? It's beautiful, <laughs> wonderful, thank you very much. Oh, go on then, pin it on me, go on. for you? There we are. And do you know the words of the hymn? I do. On a hill? On a hill far, far away, away. Stood an old ragged cross. Thank you, Jesus, for the cross. May we wear it as a sign of our love for you.